All right, people, Big Ed here working on the 1993 Harley Electric Glide. I think I got the turn signal situation figured out. Right now, I was getting ready to take it out of the shed and take it for a ride. And then I noticed um, the brake fluid down there was uh, had a little puddle. It wasn't real bad, but it's enough to bother me. So, I decided I want to go ahead and pull off the master cylinder while I have it in the shop and possibly do a rebuild kit on it. And this little video is on how I went about it. This is not a how to video, this is just my struggles because I've never done one of these before. Well, I've never done a touring, I couldn't find any videos on the internet for the touring. They got it stuffed way up underneath um, the footboard, under the back behind the frame, the bottom rails of the frame. Just a pain in the ass to get to. But what you need to do, I removed my footboard, which is two bolts, one bolt there and one bolt here that's turned down. This turns up. And then you set your footboard on there. And there's two little bolts right there. So you take those bolts out, then you want to take your uh, front exhaust off, which is two bolts right up in there, and then there's one clamp right there, and then just work it out. And then next, you want to take this uh, master cylinder. See that bolt right there? The Allen head. You want to undo that. And that hooks onto. Uh, that hooks onto the brake pedal. Sorry about the fingers and everything, but. It hooks onto the back of that. This will be slid in like so. And then this will be up underneath, way up under there. That's why you want to take your exhaust off in your footboard so you can get to get to that nut right there better. So undo that nut. You gotta take it all the way out because see how it sticks out in that hole? Let's see. Kind of sticks out there so you have to take that nut all the way out and then you slide this off the end of the brake pedal shaft so undo that nut take the nut all the way out this hose clamp comes and hooks up to it there's a line right here i don't know if you can see it there's a brake line right there that hose clamp hooks in there this is the uh, the old original hose clamps so what I did was I took a pair of channel locks and just twisted it back and forth and then slid the hose off I'm gonna put some newer clamps on I'm gonna take that one right there off too yeah, I might even do a new hose might as well while I'm at it so you take that off take that nut out and then you want to take um, this big nut right here. Which goes on the end. You'll have to get up under the bike. It's going to have this funky ass washer. You have to take a screwdriver and flip them little prongs. Flip them up twist them up so you can unscrew this big nut but that nut goes it goes on right there it screws on right right here so once you take this off you got the hose clamp off you got the big nut off and you got that bolt right there out then 
you pull your uh, brake pedal out so it's not in there and then all you got to do is this will be under there just push it forward a little bit and then just whistle it and pull it on out and then give it a good bath I just got done washing this one it was caked on with a lot of grease so now what I'm gonna do is I've never taken one of these apart so I'm gonna do a little research and um, order a rebuild kit for it and go ahead and rebuild it myself I don't think it's that hard but you know it's me we're talking about so it's probably gonna be a pain in the fucking ass I can see right now there's a clip right there I'm sure you gotta take that off but um I'll have to watch a few see if I can find any videos and uh so my next video I'll show you where I'm at on rebuilding this it might be a, about a week or so because I gotta order the parts here's a diagram let me see I'm not no cameraman Let me get in the light. I need a camera person. So right here is a diagram that I'm also going to use. Here's another diagram of it. That's that hose right there. Oh yeah, you got to take the brake line off also. It's that acorn nut right there. Number three. So you got to take that line off. Take your brake line off. Take that hose off. Take that big nut off after you get the brake line off. And take that bolt right there out. Slide that off, slide the pedal out, and then this whole, that whole assembly will slide up and then out. And that's a breakdown of it, in case it, none of y'all have a manual at the house. It tells the years and what models. So it looks like, uh, that, looks like that piston right there is going to be pretty much universal between quite a few years covers FLH, FLT, and then 1999 FXR2 and FXR3. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Watch this old man try to figure shit out. I knew that something else was going to happen too. Whenever I got done with the turn signals, it always happens. But anyways, peace out. Like and subscribe to my channel.